with this mod I'm now about to show you, it's going to give you some quality of life perks in game for seven days. Okay, so this is the Uber Durf's quality of life tweaks. Some of the things I can get to work and some of the things I can't. Um, but the majority of the things do work for me. I am running other mods, so it could well be that. But let me just read off some of the things that um that they have done so they've increased the following resources the forest ground burnt forest ground desert ground sand snow um iron lead coal nitrate and oil that's all been increased change the size of the stacks we can look at that actually now um let's just i've got the i've got this on actually we can do it from this so if i do if i do food so now food stacks to 50 cans which is great and water also stacks to 50 okay so that's the, that's your basic food and waters that is done there um ammo is the next one that's been changed ammo now stacks up to 500 instead of is it 250 or something it stacks to can't remember now but so that's been increased um all of the medical supplies so uh the bandages they now stack up to 50 instead of i think that's 10 or 5 might even be vanilla in there um and all resources so if we go for wood it's now it's now stacks to seven thousand five hundred vehicles one extra row on all vehicle storage one extra row which i think is pretty damn good for the for the bike um you know you you, you get the one row and it is amazing when you are just playing standard vanilla which i do which i do love I do love my vanilla, uh, my, my vanilla playthroughs, but I just think that these, the mods I'm reviewing at the moment will help people early stages. So this will give you an extra row on all vehicles. Also, it does state that it has increased the amount of feathers and eggs that you can get from nests. The other thing that I've been I've been running around and trying, it does say that you can pick up certain decorations. I haven't found that yet in game. Right, so the other the other few things that I'm now about to read out, they're all kind of them resources and harvesting bits and pieces like that. So increased number of most common resources from harvesting by 2.5 times. Uh, this helps makes makes the game seems less grindy, but it's not too overpowered. They've also increased the chance to get honey from stumps from 20% to 30%. Decreased the trade to sell price from three times item cost to two times item. Increased the buy back price from 0.2 to 0.3. Changed the closing time of traders from 10 o'clock till 11 o'clock. Increased zombie loot bag drop rate from 2% to 5%. Uh, increased the length of time before loot bags despawn. It's now an, an hour, so real life hour. Um, increased the walk and the run speed by 0.25. Changed mod slots to match item tier level. Reduced the distance that zombies are able to hit the player and added a chance to find glue and duct tape in other containers. The only thing I can't seem to do is pick up the movie posters and stuff or the paintings and the pictures um i can't seem to do that in in pois at at the moment so but that's the only thing i can't really get to uh, get to work so there we go uber deaths quality of life tweaks this will help people early game if you want to get into seven days and you find the vanilla grind too much Use mods like this, where it just helps you out a little bit and then get rid of the mod and then try. Once you get into the game, then start playing it. Bring in the vanilla. Vanilla game is amazing. 
do not get me wrong because I do these mod reviews don't ever think I feel like um seven days to die is um is not great in vanilla because it absolutely is but if you are going to use this mod drop me a comment in the comment section make sure you drop a like make sure you drop that comment subscribe if you are new i can't even remember my own outro now subscribe if you are new look after yourself take care of each other catch you in the next one